And what do you have there? Um, just some... Some stuff. I was trying to think of something funny, but I can't think of anything funny ever. Just got some new pants for your mom. I don't know. These? Something came in the mail today. Oh, these? Just, these nuts? Just these nuts. The best thing was... <laughs> I'm just telling you this. Like, the couple beside me while I'm loading these wheels into the trunk and they're like breaking up standing beside the car breaking up beside me and the guy's like i'm sorry i was looking for a place to get a haircut like i'm sorry <laughs> ah! the box says xr4s but this is not xr4s is this star shark on the bottom star shark so we ordered these from Beleza, and Beleza, Mr. Yamaguchi, is one of my good pals. So I hit him up, I saw that he had some Star Sharks for sale, and I was like, look man, I need some wheels for touring because these wide steels ain't gonna cut it anymore. So, but fresh and something maybe controversial. I'm not trying to get political here about wheels. It's two pairs, so this is the one side of the vehicle. Okay, are you ready? I'm not ready. I. Oh my gosh, I have like little rim jaws and a little. <laughs> Easy. I'm scared. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, just rip it off. Okay. Oh shit! The gang. I can't stop saying cringe shit right now. Did you? That's the ten. Yeah, bro. That's huge. So happy! Look how gorgeous they are. White steel is still great. I still really like white steel. I was just having some difficulties getting the white steels that I wanted made. You're gonna freak out. Is this a 12 for sure? It's a 12 for sure, okay. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, we got so many stickers. The die cuts. We got a whole selection of die cuts. Oh my gosh. It's like little cute Seb Marshall stickers. I'm so stoked on that. We need Jake here with his alien arms to hold this out. He sent us a note. <laughs> Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you again. Beleza Yamaguchi. I want to like frame this. Okay, so these wheels were kind of controversial because Collins was making Star Sharks again, but they were like not real three piece. They were one piece, but they looked like three piece with these like fake bolts in them. But they are now making real three-piece star sharks which I just think that that's so cool like these are obviously beautiful it's insane that you can buy like a brand new set of these style of wheels in three-piece and Collins owns the rights to the star shark so it's like these are these are star sharks you can still buy brand new star sharks and they had these in stock like that was the craziest thing to me as I, I messaged Yamaguchi-san and I was like um, can you get like 10 and 12 J star sharks for me in gold real three piece and he was like yeah for sure I have them in stock and I was like okay yeah I'm pretty sure I'm, I bought these like a week and a half ago like it's Wednesday now and I'm pretty sure I bought them like last Sunday these are going on our Cressida for touring <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go get um, ice cream. Sure. <laughs> no, we're gonna go get some crushed velvet. Do we wanna do seats or just the dash? We're doing the whole car. Oh my god, okay, so we need a lot. Yeah, we need quite a bit. So honestly, I don't even know what color yet. I just wanna go and see what they have. If they have something super duper crazy then, I don't know, we'll get that. Okay, let's go look. Hey, your friends. Your friends. Can I, uh, can I get two glasses of milk, please? I'm sorry? Two glasses of milk, please? Two glasses of milk? Yeah. Please? You don't carry the... Okay. Right, let's go. Put, the, put the crushed velvet in the bag. Put the cr right now, and nobody Ooh. gets hurt. 
I'm just saying, we have so many options for fabrics. We could do Canadian. Mousse. We could do blanket fabric. Who has a blanket Kaido eraser? No one. Do you want to do Let's this? Think. What color is the outside going to be? Okay, let's do this one. It's stretchy. He's not very stretchy. Stretchier than that. Yeah, it's stretchy. Look at it. It's stretchy. Nice. Why not vegetable garden Kaido racer? We could do tomato front seat driver, onion passenger seat, corn back seats, mushroom door cards, carrot headlight. You know why? <laughs> That's corny. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got a bundle of joy. It's a snack that smiles back. I feel so wrong. Yeah, this looks not good. <laughs> like the fabric or just the way that it looks? Just the way it was shaped. All right, let's go back to the shop and test fit the new wheels. Wheels! No, I'm just giving her one last pet before you cut these out. I just realized we have to get new lug nuts because these are going to look way too ugly. Looks good to me. Okay, let's go get the wheels. Okay. Don't film me from this angle. I look like a fat ass. Yeah. Hey. Selfie angles only. I'm the funny so thing is the back side of this wheel is like the same amount of dish as like most people's like normal. Ugly. Yeah, stretch tires, camber. Yeah. yeah. Maybe pull the fender like up to here. It would tuck rim probably if we put it down right now. Look at that, the springs go right back into place. A little bit. Okay, the springs are seated. Come with me. This is. Um, honestly, the next thing is to just actually get started on all the body work so that we can actually run those wheels. <laughs> of course, we need to test fit them, so we should probably get tires on soon, actually. We're gonna get some body parts arrow from Moonlight Runners, and I'm really, really, really excited for that. Um, but, and paint is just gonna be a lot. It totally occurred to me today, actually. I bought side skirts today, and the guy was like, are you gonna paint it? And I was like, yeah. And then I was like, holy shit, we have to paint the fenders. Or, sorry, not the fenders, like the door jams and everything. So, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm with Sandra. Hi. We're gonna go to Josh's house from Out of Love. We're gonna go pick up some tires that got chipped there. Yeah, these are going on a 10J somehow. What even is this? It's my derby car. All right, that makes sense. Do you want a livery? Yeah. What did you write? I wrote Young Sandy. That was my tag in high school. So if you were in Richmond in 2015, that was all me, baby. In the last video, I showed that I got that Koki bumper. Before I send it off to Aki, I'm gonna sand it down to like get all of the paint off and all the spiderweb cracking. It's a lot smoother now, not perfect, but Aki will work his magic. I don't want to sand too much and like make a bunch of low spots because I don't really know what I'm doing. I just wanted to get like most of the heavy like cracking stuff to feel like smoother so it doesn't have to like do a 10 hours worth of work. So much work to do on this one still. My plan for today is I'm gonna go take this bumper to Reed's house and get it a little bit more prepped for Aki to do like the full bodywork treatment on it. But yeah, there's like a bunch of tabs missing that we're supposed to hold in the fog light and the corner signals and uh, they're broken off. So we're gonna make custom custom tabs for them to bolt into. But yeah, that's all loaded up. We're gonna go to Rude Boys. Hopefully work on that today. Uh, 
Um, we flip the bump over and we put this bracket on there and in normal checkpoint fashion, it's the wrong bracket, which is fucking sick as per usual. This is, yeah, a Zanke bracket. There's nothing here for the corner signals to mount onto. So luckily we have another one that is for Koki, but for now we're just kind of bending up this like skid plate tray thing. So it was like fully like warped forward. And then uh, hopefully if that bracket shows up, we can test fit that and see what kind of mounts we need, but. For everyone who's been waiting for the Root Boy Super Knob, getting packed up right now. This is our assembly line, pretty sick. A little cardboard box action. Yeah, the new design looks really good. Yeah. You're gonna hang some of the All done, about a hundred knobs here, hundred super knobs, all packed up, ready to go. It's gonna take like, I don't know, an hour? Two hours probably? Two hours, pretty cool. Uh, we went to our friend Jake's house, like down the street. He had the uh, proper mounting solution for um, the fog lights and turn signals, so pretty stoked on that. I'm just gonna have to like grind down some of the surface rust on this and then spray it with some trim clad. For now, we're just remaking these brackets right here. They've all broken off. And I think those hold up part of this and some of the lights. Making it warm. One of these broken bolts are never gonna come out without it. Beautiful. That's how it's done, folks. Yeah, Reed custom made these brackets. And yeah, those were like ripped off before and now he made some new ones. Thank you. The spray I have apparently doesn't require any primer. That's what it says on the can. So I'm just gonna scuff this thing, clean it, and then give it a quick spray. I'm not a professional, so please don't fucking kill me. exactly dry yet but it's done sprayed like three four coats on it the next step for getting this bumper done The tie rod was hitting this portion of the frame right here, where this is a pinch weld. Milo has just hammered it up for the time being. What the roll center adjuster is going to do is it's going to sandwich in here. It's going to level out all the suspension geometry down here, and uh, this should sit normal again and not be sitting tilted up to hit this. You just got to take off those two bolts right there, let the suspension hang, and then sandwich that plate in between. Basically, it comes with new hardware. I hope that pulls up nice. Okay.
that pretty much wraps it up. This is just a quick update on what we have on the go this summer and you know, kind of letting you in on some of our plans and stuff that we're gonna be working on to get the car ready for summer touring and turning it into a Kaido racer. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you really enjoyed this video. Um, as always, please hit the like button, leave a comment, let us know what your dream wheels are i'm really curious what everyone's like favorite wheels ever are and they don't have to be small wheels they don't have to be three piece they can be whatever wheels i just want to know i'm running a data survey for research <laughs> um please buy a keychain if you can and we also have our umbrellas and our shirts and stuff so if you want to support us that is the best way to do so and yeah thanks for watching i don't have anything else to say so boom!